guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make this beautiful sheer nude lip gloss if you guys are interested then keep on watching all right guys real quick i want to go over the things that i'm going to be using in this video so um, of course you're going to need versa gel and an oil of your choice i'm using coconut oil if you guys want to know where to get the versa gel i will link um in the description box a video that i made telling you guys about four different versa gel vendors and one of those vendors is where i purchased the versa gel that i'm using in today's video so for flavoring oil i decided to go with mint this is my favorite um type of like flavor in any type of lip gloss or anything that provides that tingly sensation i really like I decided to go with mint. All of these items here are um, from Amazon and will be listed in, in the description box um, if you guys are interested. So I got mint. Again, I'm not like purchasing this for, I'm not making this for the purpose of selling. I'm just making it for some of my friends and myself just because, you know. I'm planning on making it a coffee color, but um, in case I need to like add a little bit of white or some bronze, I'm trying to make like a nude coffee-ish color, so we'll see how it turns out. I'm just going to be experimenting. Um, you're going to need a syringe. This syringe is only 20 ml. If you are planning on starting a lip gloss business where you want to make multiple, like tons and tons of lip gloss, I recommend getting... I think they come in like 60 ml they probably come even bigger 120 ml so the bigger might be um quicker for you to make lip gloss so that you're not constantly filling this up you're gonna need a pipette to add to the tip of this and you're gonna need lip gloss tubes um i don't even know if i'm gonna fill all five of these three tubes but these are also linked in the description box they actually came with um, three of these. It was like a pack of 20, I believe, or 22, and it came with three of these. And then this was like a pack of 20, I believe, too. Real cheap. This was affordable, and there's a lot of flavoring oil. It's told to full of fluid ounces. And then prior to this video, I already infused my Versa gel with some oil. Um, I didn't infuse it with too, too much oil because don't forget we have to add the flavor oil. Plus, while mixing the pigment in, you might have to add some more oil. So that's why, you know, it's mostly how I want it, but not quite. If you guys are interested in how I infuse my um, Versa gel with oil, I also made a uh, video and I will link that down below. If you guys don't feel like doing this yourself, because it is a, you know, a process where you got to keep mixing, mixing to the right consistency. If you guys are lazy, of course, um, I have an Etsy shop where I offer oil-infused um, Versa gel, which I will link in the description box below. But main thing is you want to make sure that your tubes and your stoppers and your caps are all cleaned prior. You probably want to do this the day before because you want to make sure it dries completely. We don't want to introduce water unnecessarily. So same thing for your pipettes. Your syringes, if it's your first time using it, they are sterile out of the package, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you're going to reuse the syringe, then you obviously have to wash it. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to set aside my Versa gel. Put that over here. And I want to focus on mixing my cup. So what we're going to do... Pour a little bit of coconut oil in here, okay? That way I could use it to kind of get um, an idea of what my color is going to look like. I'm just going to use the bottom of this pipette before I cut it. Also, you're going to need scissors because you're going to want to cut the pipette. That way you can fit it over top the syringe because the syringe will not get to the bottom of the tube when you're filling it. So I'm going to add my coffee color. It would help if you guys had like a small scoop. I do not have a small scoop because clearly I didn't think this all out. But I'm just going to shake it out of the bag very carefully. Okay. We want it 
pigmented, but not too pigmented. It may look super like pigmented in here, but I know once I add it to the Versa gel, it might not come out as dark. The only thing is, all these pigments are pearlescent, so if you were going, they're mica powder, sorry. If you were going for like a more matte color, I wouldn't recommend these. They all have slight shimmer. I, I hope you guys can see the color. Let's see how it looks like mixed in the Versa gel, and if I need to add a little bit of the white, I will. some of the satin silver white again the pack that I ordered it would have been nicer if I just had a white pigment but I have to do with what I have now what I'm doing is clearly going against what I said by mixing it in the oil first but let's just see I see that it's easier to dissolve the um, mica into the coconut oil first or whatever oil you're using and then add it in because it mixes easier. But I think it does just fine. With adding it in this way, you just have to really mix. Again, guys, this is for personal use. I'm going to give some to my friends. I'm not trying to sell these to you guys. So don't come for my neck if everything is not perfect. If you're like, oh, you're mixing it wrong. You're doing this wrong. Again, I'm not trying to sell these. So I'm actually feeling this color. Yeah. Almost forgot. We need a little bit of flavor. So make sure it's flavor oil and not fragrance oil. We do care if it smells good. The flavor oil also has a scent of whatever flavor it is. So it's going to smell good. And it's going to taste good. This stuff smells so good. So I'm going to just take the pipe that. Take some out. I don't want to put too much because I don't want it to be like overpowering. This is what I mean by cutting the pipette and then sticking it on here. I know you're supposed to tape it. I see people tape it so that it doesn't, you know, pull off. I'm not about to tape it. So, let's hope that it doesn't fall off. Alright, you still gotta mix now because we're gonna mix in our flavor oil. this like 
do I add more to make sure it shows up? Like, what we doing? Okay, I'm really feeling this color. Trial and error, guys. Trial and error. thing I realized that you can do to prevent air bubbles is as you're sucking up the VersaGel into the syringe, you see that I'm moving it around. That's because whenever you suck up an empty spot in your bowl of VersaGel, you introduce air to the syringe and that's how you get air bubbles.